everyone, I'm back today with another flip-flop journal and this is the second one for Shannon. Uh, she asked me to do it in pink and turquoise and asked me specifically to use the Chapter One Papers um, French Drawing Room Kit. And so that's what I've done throughout. Uh, and then I've also added in uh, different papers from uh, Ruby and Pearl, Amity Bloom, um, so I will list below the additional kits that I used uh, in this journal. And so what I've done for the cover, uh, and so this is made, um, before I get into the details, this is made using my same method for the uh, base of the journal that I have used all along and I will link the little kind of how-to uh, that I did uh, about a year ago now uh, for you to see how I made the base of this journal. So for the cover, I have used part of one of the pages uh, for the cover image and then I've uh, layered it with some uh, craft paper and some dotted sheer fabric and then backed it onto some of the pink from the kit and then I've added a few um, little flowers here at the bottom and then just tied it with um, a little bit of twine. So let me show you inside. Throughout I've used uh, rusted paper clips and bulb pins as well as uh, aged tape. Here I've got a little notepad uh, inside um, these pockets are from uh, made from baking paper. I've got a little notes stamp here on that die cut, little perfume bottle, a little tag here, and a little label there. So that's the front inside. Then I've got a lace pocket here with um, an image uh, from uh, that's from Ruby and Pearl. And then this is just an Amity Bloom paper, and I've just added that for some additional space. My tabs throughout. And here I have a button card that's from Luna Razu. Uh, and then this is uh, a Ruby and Pearl uh, wallpaper. And she does, I think there's four sheets typically in a kit uh, at full size, and then she gives you a page where she's got a uh, four to one page, and that's what that is. It's journal size, journal card size. Um, and then I have added uh, just a, a label uh, there at the top. Uh, just a stamped die cut here, and I've used just different ruffles throughout. Uh, center of the signature here, that's a Genevieve Designs envelope. And this again is another Ruby and Pearl small size wallpaper. Here, this is a Ruby and Pearl um, photo that I printed on glossy photo paper. And then behind it is a Graphics Fairy uh, postcard. Uh, here I've made uh, a pocket uh, that I've just clipped on. This is from, the pocket is from uh, Genevieve Designs. I've added some twine at the top and just a little bit of decorating at the bottom. And then I've just added a couple of things. So an embossed, an embossed, oh goodness, an embossed tag at the back. Um, one of the vase uh, images from uh, the Graphics Fairy and then just made a tag out of the um, uh, paper from the kit. Uh, here I have one of the Tim Holtz uh, frame dies, uh, another floral journaling card, and then this is an envelope on the back. I don't have anything in it, but that is from that Genevieve Designs uh, kit. This in the front pocket, that is from Amity Bloom. And then into the uh, second signature here, a uh, little bit of lace. On this side, I have, um, this is from Ruby and Pearl, and I've just done an embossing on that. Little journaling card uh, that I've added a button to the top and another embossed tag. Here I've got a bag uh, with just a, um, hydrangea. I thought it was so pretty for April. The hydrangeas will be coming out soon here. Uh, and then I've just stamped my Tiffany stamp on that die cut. 
And then here I've made a bag. I've just printed some ruby and pearl uh, wallpaper onto some tracing paper. And then I've just got a plain tag uh, that I've made uh, inside with a little black and white dot uh, topper there. Um, these papers are from Marion Smith. Um, some of you may remember Marion Smith. Uh, she had a lot of kits out a long time ago when I first started doing this. And one of my favorites is, uh, I think it's called the Primrose Journal, and this is one of the filler pages. So I love when I can do a project uh, that is, has turquoise and pink so that I can use that. Um, here is a, a little postcard from the kit that I've added. Uh, and then again, just a little kind of piece of one of the pages uh, that I've used as a tag and just added um, some sari ribbon and some of that rosette trim. This is an Amity Bloom envelope that I've got uh, in the center here. I don't have anything in it, but I thought it was really pretty with the, uh, the theme of this journal. Um, these uh, turquoise background papers are from TaylorMade Journals. She has some beautiful kits. Um, more sari ribbon here, another tab. In this pocket, I have um, another small journaling card, another small wallpaper journaling card from uh, Ruby and Pearl. And in the bag, I've got um, one of this, the strip pages from, again, Ruby and Pearl, and I've just added a little bit of trim at the top. And in the other half of this bag, I've just um, added one of my very favorite journaling cards, The Language of Flowers. I love that. Oh, it's so pretty. And then I've got a little envelope here that I've added a little journaling card to. That envelope is, I believe, Ruby and Pearl as well. This is an Amity Bloom envelope. And then I've just um, printed out on um, some, the back is um, some ledger paper. Both of these are from uh, Ruby and Pearl kits. This side, I've used one of those um, strip pages for a pocket, added a little bit of trim, and then this is from the um, French drawing room kit, and I've just added kind of a plain tag there. Then some printing on vellum. This is uh, a hanky that I have in my collection uh, and I've scanned it and I've just printed that uh, onto some vellum paper. Um, here I have, this is um, an Amity Bloom uh, envelope printable and I've just added it over the top of that page like that. Some craft paper here that I've added some holes um, in and added a little bit of um, trim to. In the center of the signature, I've got uh, a couple of pockets. This is um, uh, an Amity Bloom printable and I've just printed it on vellum. And then another piece of the, the kit here. And another kind of floral journaling card. And then this again is part of one of the pages, and then I've just added um, a plain tag there. Here I've added uh, a couple of tags at the top of that ruffle, and this is uh, part of the ephemera from the kit. I've just printed it on cardstock. I thought it would be a great uh, place to do a little bit of um, larger kind of journaling card to do some some journaling. In the back uh, pocket here, this is uh, again uh, an Amity Bloom envelope, and then this is just a, a floral tag that I have. Um, I'm not. I've had it for years. I'm not even sure what where I got it. It could have been a Pinterest, uh, Pinterest image. So flipping it over to the back, then I've got a uh, square doily um, folded into a pocket here, an envelope pocket, added a bit of trim, and then inside a, a stamped die cut, another a ruby and pearl image, and then another journaling card. Here I have um, 
one of the the tall uh, covers uh, that I've that I've uh, added here, um, and then just added some of that ruby and pearl uh, ledger paper just for some extra space to write here. Um, added one of the notepads that I typically add to the back there. And then in the last signature, another baking paper pocket, and over that I've, I've layered some of that um, dotted uh, sheer fabric, or dotted tool, and then added um, a little bit of this kind of gold trim. Uh, journaling card is from Amity Bloom, and then this is another of those kind of um, tags from uh, Ruby and Pearl. Uh, I've got another of those sheets here. Uh, this is another photo image from uh, Ruby and Pearl. And then this is one of her um, uh, wallpaper pages uh, that I've just kind of cut down and I've, I've got it in here as an extra journaling spot. And I've, I've done some tabs throughout using the, um, the paper from the kit. Here I have another uh, vellum I've printed on vellum. This is a um, ruby and pearl image that I've just printed on vellum there. On the back I've clipped uh, a page from the kit that I've just kind of cut down uh, to add as an extra journaling spot. And then in this vintage glassine envelope I just used that flower uh, as um, a closure and then I've just got some of the bits and pieces from the kit in here uh, along with some kind of pink labels that I have uh, in my digitals. Um, I thought that Shannon could use them throughout so that's there. This is an envelope from the uh, Genevieve Designs kit, the her flip-flop journal kit. Here I have added uh, one of my payroll envelopes, done a bit of stamping on the back, added a sheer pocket, uh, and then in here I have a journaling card that I've made from uh, the kit, and then just a plain tag there. And on this side, I've got a notes tag, and then this is an Amity Bloom envelope again. Uh, that I don't have anything in, but I thought was a great extra space to store some things. Another tab, um, another couple of tags there. And I've used my tab punch uh, on the uh, papers um, in the kit to, to make some tag. Um, tabs <laughs> throughout. Here's a bag uh, that I have decorated with a name, um, Ruby and Pearl. Sorry, no, that's not Ruby and Pearl. That is Sam Pool Design. So she has um, those uh, Polaroids and then the stamps that I've used throughout, you can see one here. Those are also from Sam Pool uh, and you can get those from uh, scrapbook.com. Another uh, embossed tag here and then this is from the kit. Uh, that I've added a tab um, with uh, some trim at the top. So, Shannon, that is your your turquoise and pink uh, flip-flop journal. I hope you like it. Um, and thank you, everyone, for all of your support. Uh, and I will see you hopefully soon uh, with another journal. Thank you.